course uh, that I am going to offer that is industrial biotechnology. It has two components, one is biotechnology and another is the industrial. Biotechnology again it has the two parts, one is bio and another is technology. As you know that technology basically it is the combination of science and engineering. Science tells us why it is happening, how it is happening and engineering is the application of science. Basically, whatever we develop in the day to day life and uh, when we go for the application, the both uh, the, uh, the combination of science and engineering is required as we call technology and bio stands for uh, biological component. If the technology comes through with the help of some biological component, we call it biotechnology and industrial biotechnology basically it is, it is uh, what is in practice in the industry that is industrial biotechnology. Now, if you look at the definition of uh, industrial biotechnology is a set of practices because uh, what are the different practices we have in the industry to get a purified products. As for example, suppose we want to hear what we use the living cells, bacteria, yeast, different components. Not only the living cells, we can use some non-living components also which is derived from the uh, living of, uh, organism as for example, uh, by the enzymes which is de derived from the both uh, plant system, microbial system, animal system which is used for the production of different products. Now, industrial uh, biotechnology it has uh, it comprises of uh, different uh, uh, components one is uh, medium preparation and then inoculum preparation using industrial strain. Uh, medium preparation plays a very important role as you know that media comprises of not only carbon, not only a single component it com comprises of carbon source, nitrogen source, minerals and vitamin for the living cells. But for the non-living cells suppose if we use the enzyme we require a particular substrate, particular pH and temperature to have a particular reaction to get the de definite products. The inoculum preparation usually the industry we use the industrial strain. It is not the, <coughs> this is specially prepared for the, for the industry and it is, a, it is we consider as a robust strain. Why it is robust strain? Because it can, it can has high productivity and I shall discuss more in details in subsequent slides. Then it comes to the fermentation process. Fermentation process actually that is uh, when your organism that you know function it has the metabolic pathways and it produces uh, undergo through the metabolic pathway it gives the different products. And uh, the science of fermentation basically it also knows as gymology. And then when you get the desired amount desired product then we go for some physicochemical separ separation process to get the purified product, because whatever product we marketed that should be in the purified form. Then after getting the purified product, then it undergo packaging uh, and then uh, for the, this is the packaging, now with this packaging system has improved to, to a great extent uh, for, uh, for marketing purpose. And uh, after that you know that uh, during the product formation we also generate lot of uh, organic waste that is to be treated. So, you know what you call effluent treatment process that we have. Now, I want to give a typical example of the brewing industry because uh, throughout the world that you know different uh, brewing processes are in practice. We know that we have lager beer, we have alley beer. In India, we produce uh, uh, that alley beer, a uh, lager beer and uh, it comprises of different steps uh, as for example, malting then milling, then mashing, then uh, uh, loitering, then you have uh, this boiling, then you have uh, the wheel pulling, then cooling, fermentation, maturing, filtration, then packaging. So, what I want to mean that if you look at the, uh, the this is the, this is the fermentation process, this is the what you call bio process and this, uh, this is before uh, material comes to the bio process, there are so many units involved. We have malting process, we have milling process, we have massing process, we have loitering process, we have boiling process, we have wheel the pulling that process, then we have cooling. 
then it comes to the fermentation. After fermentation, it goes to the different separation process. Good, uh, the, this is called maturation process. Then we have uh, we have uh, filtering. Then uh, packaging can be done in different ways, either in the can, in the bottles, in the barrels, and then it is marketing with the help of some kind of uh, transport arrangement. Now, this uh, course I divided into uh, um, uh, different uh, parts. Uh, initially, I shall, I, shall, I shall restricted myself on micro, microbes and enzymes for industrial importance. I will give you some detailed information on that. Then, I shall, I shall discuss about different types of bioreactors and bioreactor design, and this will be followed by tutorial 1. And stoichiometry is very important part of a, any kind of uh, fermentation process because uh, because uh, because the stoichiometry gives the material and energy analysis of the system, then microbial growth, substrate degradation, and product formation kinetics, and uh, and this will be followed by instrumentation and sterilization of air, media, and reactor. Then we I shall discuss the upstream and downstream processing. I, I, I covered the uh, biochemical fermentation processes like uh, tax and non-tax alcohol, then brewing industry, wine making industry, vinegar, citric acid production, penicillin, streptomycin, high fructose corn syrup, then we have cheese making, then single cell protein, vaccine production and metal leaching. Now, we also try to cover this uh, bioenergy because bioenergy is a very important part. Uh, nowadays, in uh, because uh, replacing the conventional fossil fuel, bioenergy plays very important part. So, different bioenergy that is, is produced that is in practice nowadays. For one is the biomethane, another is bioethanol that is largely used. Biodiesel also used in by the several industry. I shall discuss about that how it is produced, and finally, I shall discuss about the aerobic and anaerobic wastewater treatment process. Now, the question comes there, what are the bioproducts? Bioproduction of commercially useful product may form the use of biologicals as for example, microbes and enzymes or renewable material like biomass derived from the agricultural residue or food processing. So, uh, the different types of microbes and enzymes catalyze the various reaction for the generation of bioproducts. So, we have bacteria, we have algae, we have fungi, we have yeast that can involve uh, to get, produce different type of bioproducts. And we have the enzyme that catalyst enzyme that, uh, that acts on the hydrogen peroxide produce uh, that water and hydrogen molecules. And this is the examples of the bioproducts that we have. I just uh, talk about the antibiotics that is a uh, we have a lot of antibiotics in, uh, nowadays available in the market to uh, cure cure lot of diseases. We have different oxy chemicals that can be produced through the biological means. What is ethanol, then acetic acid, butanol, and uh, citric acid. Different enzymes. Enzymes can be used not only for the uh, pharmaceutical industry; it can be used for the uh, industrial processes like high fructose corn syrup formation. So, we have amylases, we have proteases, gyalinases and renin. Then we have vaccine that is nowadays is uh, very much important uh, to, to, uh, to protect our babies because different type of vaccines uh, that is usually applied to the, the, the babies uh, so that you know they can be free from certain diseases. Hormones that is used particularly in the horm agriculture sector to improve the agricultural growth to a great extent. Then single cell protein like the bakers is largely used by the baker industries. Now, why bioproducts? The, the reason is that it is sustainable because we can use these bioproducts for longer period of time. And second is the less carbon and water footprint that is very much a, a essential for this and it creates rural uh, employment opportunity because not only this bioprocess can be can be can be applied for the both in the small scale and bigger scales and less uh, emission of the to the emission of pollutant to the environment that is a another important biodegradability and recyclability this is very important factors then we have high productivity and lastly we <laughs> use the raw materials for the 
from the local research sources. So, this is a different advantages of using bioproducts why this is in practice. Now, initially we, we should compare that how these bioprocess they comparable with the chemical processes. Now, chemical processes one thing I want to tell you in the chemical process that if you want to produce any kind of chemicals, you <coughs> any kind of product. You, your, if you change the product, your raw material will be changes in the chemical process. Your product is complicated, your raw material will be complicated. But in the bio process is something different because the raw material, same carbon source can produce the different type of uh, compounds. As for example, I can give the example of glucose. Glucose can be produced ethanol, it can produce citric acid, it can produce uh, lactic acid, it can produce acetic acid. So, different type of product formation can be taken place with the help of this, uh, this particular uh, bio process. And another advantage of the bioprocess is that it can be operated at the ambient temperature and atmospheric pressure. And in the chemical process, if you look at, it is usually operated at high, high temperature and high pressure. Uh, that means it is quite energy intensive, and it is usually operated. One advantage is that one, it is usually operated under unsterile condition. But biological process, since we allow our desired organism to grow in a environment, so your your environment should be sterilized, and for the sterility purpose, our uh, that we that is it is uh, some energy is required to maintain the sterility of the system. That is the major drawback of the system, and uh, also in the chemical process, we required very costly catalysts like platinum. But biological process, we required enzymes, which is not costly, it is very cheap and produce limited varieties of product we can have in the chemical process, but in the biochemical process we can have wide varieties of product and we have greater toxicity in the chemical process. So, effluent treatment process is very complicated in a bio process whatever that the uh, effluent is generated that is really biodegradable. Now, the bio products can be available in three different forms. One is uh, one is called low value, high, low value, high volume product, and this medium uh, value and uh, medium value and uh, medium volume product and high value, low volume products. The examples that in the low volume products are those which cost is around um, six pound per kg. As for example, citric acid, xanthan gram. This is uh, this is low value products and and high medium value and high medium volume products uh, the cost is about 60 pounds per kg. The examples are different antibiotics like penicillin, streptomycin, uh, canamycin, canamycin is really more costly as compared to penicillin. So, this are the, is considered as the medium volume and medium value products, but high value low volume products are human insulin that is largely used nowadays uh, and interferon that is that is in practice this is produced very low volume, but cost is very high. Now, the bio that bio products can be divided into three different uh, uh, types. One is called bioenergy, biochemicals and biomaterials. Bio I told you that bioenergy we have three different uh, types. One is called solid fuel, another is a liquid fuel and the gaseous fuel. Solid fuel we have the biomass and in the liquid fuel we have bioethanol, biobutanol and uh, gaseous fuel we have biohydrogen, biomethane. So, different type of gases we can produce. Biochemicals we have biopharmaceutical like vaccine can, can be produced. We have industrial chemicals like we have citric acid and enzymes then biocosmetic like body creams can be produced through this. And biomaterials we have bioplastics, biocomposite bioplastics now it is quite uh, de highly demanded because plastic causes the environmental pollution we know it it is very difficult to biodegrade so bioplastic has lot of demand in the market biocomposite that is also largely used and then we have biofoam and bio rubber that can be also produced through this now if you look at the biotechnology industrial scenario india is among the top uh, 12 uh, biotechnology destinations in the world and ranks second in Asia after China. Uh, China is the first, then second is the uh, India in Asia. 
and 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 then the, the last year the growth of the biotechnology industry about 57.14 percent and uh, and uh, is estimated to reach about 11.1 uh, million dollar uh, by 2017 the biopharmaceutical segments accounted for the last year's revenue now here we can see that you know biopharmaceutical how they are uh, sharing the lion part of these bioproducts now these are the different net market values of uh, different products that we have that uh, we have we have ethanol we have ethylene glycol we have atypic acid acetic acid the different type of chemicals how it is produced through the biological process and their market value is given here and uh, but this is the examples how how this uh, bio products is usually produced i have given the example of the ethanol because uh, alcohol is produced to a great extent because nowadays because alcohol not only used uh, for uh, for uh, for the human consumption but also used in the pharmaceutical sector also as a use as a power alcohol and also it is used as a chemical feedstock by the chemical industries now if you look at the how it is produced how the ethanol is produced uh, by, by the fermentation industry the by we can we can form if you take the example of simple compound like glucose or sucrose sucrose when hydrolyzed sugar when hydrolyzed it produces fructose and glucose and glucose and fructose they undergo emdon meyer of pathe which produce the pyruvic acid and pyruvic acid then it converted to acetaldehyde then to uh, ethanol so this is the biochemical pathways how it produces the ethanol through the fermentation process now uh, the range of uh, the fermentation uh, process four major uh, uh, major groups of commercial important fermentation exist the uh, the uh, one is the production of the microbial cells as the product examples include the baker's yeast yeast uh, for single cell protein and probiotics this is uh, this is one one types and second is the production of microbial enzymes enzymes as i told you that enzymes not only use for the uh, for the pharmaceutical sectors but also it is for for the industrial purpose for uh, detergents we use this and also for the production of high fructose corn syrup we we produce that also it is used for the as a bio sensor uh, formation of the bio sensors production of microbial metabolites we have several i just i given the example of ethanol besides that we have citric acid vitamin acetone butanol and glutamic acid lysine etc the modification of a compound which is added to the fermentation is the transformation process that can be used to a great extent as a, as, as for example the steroid antibiotics and uh, post glantin that is used now by uh, there is a very uh, interesting scenario that uh, how this bio product development has been developed in the chronological order if you look at uh, pre 1900 that alcohol is the vinegar, vinegar this is usually produced through the batch fermentation process then in between 1900 and 1940 the bakers is glycerol citric acid lactic acid acetone butanol and uh, that is usually produced through the fed batch fermentation process then uh, 1940 on to, to up to date that we have several antibiotics in the market like penicillin streptomycin other antibiotics we have gibberellin this is kind of plant growth hob, uh, hormone then we have amino acid nucleotides enzymes and transformation take place then 1960 uh, onwards we have single cell protein that continuous medium cycling genetic engineering of production strain then 1979 onwards we have foreign compounds not uh, normally produce microbial cells as for example the insulin interferon genetic engineering to introduce the foreign gene in the microbial host this is uh, largely uh, in practice the present development of industrial fermentation products is the microbial cell hop uh, pro probiotic in the that is used in the form of capsule in the form of drinks beverage amylase and glucose uh, glucose isomerase for high fructose corn syrup 
production that is mostly used in the western country coloring agent from microorganism for the textile we, what we consider as a natural color then we have biodiesel as the energy source to replace the petroleum then bio insecticides uh, we know nowadays we have lot of problem with the with the pesticides uh, and pesticide is such a chemicals which uh, keep on accumulating in your system it never goes out of your system and has the carcinogenic property so if we use the bio insecticides this is the basically the, uh, 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 the the protein molecules that can be easily biodegraded so we do not cause any kind of pollution problem then we have microbial plastic bioplastic then uh, uh, isoflavon uh, of uh, swabin and lipase for detergent. Then a list of industrial importance microbes uh, which is involved for the production of uh, different type of products is listed in this table and we find that in the bakery industry that we use the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This use the Saccharomyces cerevisiae also used for the production of beer and wine then we have lactic acid bacteria it produce the yogurt and um, we have caffeine and probiotics we have uh, then aspergillus oryzae is used soy sauce formation tempeh that is deep frying fermented soybeans the rhizopods oryza so different type of products that has been listed here that is the, the penicillium chrysogenum that is used for penicillin production process now we have list of industrial importance enzymes and their applications as for example protease uh, lipase cellulase iso isomerase xylanase li li ligase and uh, nuclease renin uh, pectinase beta gluconase uh, trypsin and uh, tannins because this is lo lot of lot of enzymes that is used and i have given you the protease used in the food industry and the detail also in the detergent industry particularly for removing the uh, kind of strain that has been attached to the uh, cloth that can be used easily removed with the help of protease enzyme as for example the blood uh, can be degraded with the help of protease enzyme and different healthcare it can be used uh, healthcare as for example that is used uh, protease enzyme is used Lipase is that has lot of use in the dairy and food processing industries. Cellulase nowadays is used in the uh, biofuel industry for the breakdown of cellulose. Isomer is used for the conversion of uh, glucose to fructose. As you know, that fructose is ten times sweeter than glucose, so that is why that is used in the confectionery industry to a great extent. We have lipase, ligase, and nucleus that is used in the molecular biology. The renin is used for the cheese making industry, pectinase is the food processing industry, trypsin is used in the pharmaceutical industries. Now finally, I want to tell you that if you look at the industrial biotechnology processes, it broadly it can be divided into two parts. One is we call it upstream processing, another is the downstream processing. Upstream processing comprises of medium preparation and inoculum preparation and the fermentation process. So, different uh, things that is involved as for example, medium preparation, medium I told you, media comprises of carbon source, nitrogen source, minerals and vitamin that we, we mix in a tank, then we have we shall have to sterilize it that is called medium sterilization. Then most of the fermentation process they are operated, operated aerobically and uh, most of the so, they are mostly operated aerobically, so we required air and air to be should be sterilized. Then inoculum preparation that is also very important that um, inoculum is usually prepared with the help of industrial enzyme. Then this whole unit that uh, including the fermentation process we call it upstream processing. In the downstream processing that is nothing but the product purification because I told you whenever we market any kind of product that should be in the purified form, we cannot market the product uh, because we know that uh, if you look at the chemical catalog, we have two type of products that is available. One is called <coughs> that uh, analytical grade chemicals and uh, that is commercial grade chemicals. Analytical grade chemicals usually 99.9 percent .9 purity 
and if you commercial grade chemicals it might be 94 90 percent 94 percent like this and if you look at, look at the cost difference of this uh, particular chemicals is huge maybe your analytical chemicals is four times costlier than the commercial grade chemicals so but the purity of the chemicals is very important i can i can give the example of the penicillin uh, production industry Penicillin is marketed in the two different forms, in the form of capsule, in the form of uh, injection fluid. Now, injection fluid, <coughs> it should be 100 percent free from contaminants because it is directly injected to our blood, uh, so in a blood pH is 7. So, if any kind of contamination is there, they immediately your body, your our system will be affected. So, it should be 100 percent free from contaminants. But when we take the antibiotics in the form of capsule, it goes through your stomach and when it goes through your stomach, in the stomach we know the our pH is 2, even some contamination is there, your stomach pH will take care uh, the contamination problem. So, this is the things we are, we are going to cover in this course. I hope it will be very helpful to you all. Thank you.